How you going, Gemini? I've got your daily read for today. I've shuffled all the cards. Okay, uh, we're going to use three decks, and now the three decks of 78 cards. Put three decks together, because there's 234 levels of possibility to come out. And it gives us uh, 78, uh, one in 78 chance of everything being um, quadruple, uh, quad tripled, if that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't force it. Um, you know what you're eating is, trust your intuition, trust your gut feeling, and trust any intellect and logic that you have. You know what your journey is, um, and everybody's on different journeys. This could be a past, present, or future reading. Um, and we're going to get started right now. Protect your energy. Remain zen. Ooh, protect that energy. She's tied up there in that card. What do we get from that? Yeah, straight up. All right. There's some sort of new beginning, all right? It's coming, all right? That's, but that's like learning the lessons and using it to your advantage. See how she's protecting her energy in that protection bubble there? And that, but in this one, she's tied up in her mind. It's like you're protected at the present moment, but you don't know it. See how she's... See? Protect your energy and trust your gut feeling at the present moment. But if you feel like you're tied up, okay? And you can't look at it. But if you looked at it, you would see that you are the social butterfly. See? She's extreme positivity, this queen. Extreme positivity. And she's surrounded by the light also as well. See, she's surrounded by the light. And the light's in her hand. And you can see as she's raising that hand up with inspiration because she's a very inspiring queen. You're very inspiring, but it's like um, you just need to protect your energy at the moment. Whether that's you and you don't know it or somebody can't look at the fact that you are so beautiful. Because she can't look at that either. Um, this is like, a, underlining energies is like somebody who is um, learnt the trials and tribulations in life and able to take those and use those to their advantage. Pages are also messengers, yeah? Um, and also can be childish actions, uh, but it can be embracing your inner child a little bit more, let's be honest, yeah? Uh, the next card, we only, they only go for 10 to 20 minutes, so I've got to go through three decks to put emphasis on everything. This is like a card of a guru, somebody who's spiritually enlightened, somebody who's sweet, somebody who's lovely, somebody who's taken the level of ascension, somebody who trusts the universe, see so sits there and he's not, uh, see how they're sitting in the, in the, like, sitting, sitting or sitting, and yeah, somebody's sitting, ready to go, he's sitting in that uh, yoga pose there, very zen you are, aren't you? Because she's very zen in that seven of wands. But this is like your connection to the divine, your level of ascension to up to that tree of knowledge or the universe in itself. Um, see how the light's in her hand? See the hand is the butterfly? See the... See the butterfly? Light is the butterfly. It's like the transformation that you've taken in place is magnificent. The divine can see that as that level of... You know, sad nice and might have kept you awake, okay, along the way. Which makes it hard for these things to manifest the skills, okay? Because, but I'm getting something different from this reason. She's protecting that energy over here. Protect it. Know you're perfect. Know you're lovely, okay? Uh, I know that's just come across weird. But know that you're lovely, okay? We'll get through these readings as we go along. But it's 307 on the clock. Check that angel number, 307. Um, the Queen of Wands is somebody very passionate, very beautiful. And you can see that you would definitely be, uh, in these two energies, extremely passionate. Um, and it's like you've worked on it. See the moon there? Moon's, this is not a moon card, or it's not a, even a, a water card. This is a pentacle, which pentacles are Earth's, so Virgo, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, yeah? But you can see that many moons have passed, so it's like you've skilled or leveled up and worked very, very hard over a long period of time in order to get that seven, seven, maybe eight years, five years, five to seven, eight years, because we've got seven, eight, seven in those moons, eight there, and then five. So it might have been like five to seven to eight years that you've worked very, very hard in knowing who you are because she's protecting your worth. Yeah, you're very sociable, very lovely, but you need to protect that energy, yeah? Because seeing that card next to it from the seven to eight shows that there are people out there, they're tricksters, and they come along to try and steal that from you so you, can, so you can't remain positive and happy at times when you need to. And let's be honest, a lot of people, um, especially in their negative, it's not like they mean to, uh, they can't handle you and your positive attitude because they just can't handle it. It's like, um, it's not jealousy so much, it's just they just can't handle it. Just, you ever meet these people that just don't like you for no reason? It just happens. I'm trying to come out of you. Strength. You're extremely strong. Okay, we've got eight here. We've got a seven and eight, a five and an eight. We've got triple emphasis on eight, which shows in numerology that is manifestations, abundance, uh, leadership, and career. So we could be talking to somebody who's trying to get um, some sort of abundance in leadership and career. Uh, if we add those together, that's 24, 32, 
37, 3 plus 7 is 1. We may be talking to somebody who's got a new beginning, uh, individuality, leadership, or the self. Somebody who's on their self journey. Like I said before, if, you, you know, if you're trying to ascend in life, you know, the spirit likes to know that you are going extremely well. Yeah, remain poised, remain elegant. See, she's got growth in her mind. It's like growth is there. Where are we at? Five minutes. Uh, I'll leave it there. Something's coming in. It's very fast. Good news is coming in very fast. Switch the decks. Yeah, she's there. And she's in a different one. See the cat in front? Everybody thinks that cats are bad. Like, oh, black cat in your house is bad. No, 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 no. Black cats are beautiful. They, they have, we'll just fill out. Some of these beautiful um, energies. Some of these energy, maybe a Cancerian energy is beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, somebody's thinking about that. Um, but yeah, the social butterfly, the queen of wands there, the black cat. People think that um, black cats are bad omens. Nah. Like, um, if you have a look at a lot of pirate movies on the ships, they're black cats on there because they believe that they're good omens who bring them home safe. Um, an old wives' tale is um, wives used to keep of the pirate, uh, not pirates, but fishermen's wives used to keep. Um, yeah, see, it's come straight out in a row. It's come out straight out in a row. I'll continue with that in a second. Uh, you know how fishermen's wives... Um, have you ever heard the old wives' tales of uh, fishermen's wives had black cats because they believed that they were good omens to bring their beautiful husbands back safe from the, the big swirls of the oceans, yeah? So, you know, it's like um, it's a good omen. It's a good omen. You're a good omen. You have a good omen around you. Okay, the card that fell out for the first middle row is the same card that's up above, and that is protect your energy. Protect it, yeah? See the smile here? Got to protect that smile, or otherwise people come along and steal it as I walk down the street. Um, smacking shoulders into me and then thinking that it's okay to do so. If I don't protect energy and keep smiling as all the past, I might turn around and go off, yeah? Gotta be honest about who we are. But protect that energy, yeah? Think about it. Protect your energy. Somebody's contemplating very hard because the, with the thinking card there above, you can see that she's trapped in the mind. Now, I don't know why I said um, that at the beginning, but yeah, somebody's trapped in their mind. Um, I'm not smiling at that, but I'm just, I love, I love what I do. But you can see that the protection energy of that bubble there is like, um, protect your own mind. Don't allow anything to come in, in in the way of bad thoughts and remain in this socially beautiful uh, energy and just trust your faith in the divine, yeah? You've worked very, very hard on who you are and, man, that's small. Yeah, so why not? You know, she holds a close heart close to her. You have pride. Because that's where that line is, is pride. You can see have harmony as well because that line eats the sacrifice in front of it which is the circles of life, sad as it is, that is the circles of life, the lion has to eat them, the land to live. It might be a sacrifice you've had it needed to take place, or you need to take place, and it could be the sacrifice, could be um, um, Ill, Ill people that have broken your heart. It's funny that that's underneath the deck, but Ill people that, but know that good news is coming, yeah, because you work very, very hard on yourself, but you just need to beat to your own drum, see? Literally, I could keep pulling those cards off because there's a gift of abundance under that too. Watch out for any spoiled brats at this present moment who cannot be happy for you. That's what you're protecting your energy. Yeah, it's trying to come out. Any type of hollow victories, it literally just flipped itself. As I said, that any type of hollow victories, any type of bullying, harassment, any type of uh, things that tricksters, you know, that don't allow you to be the best person that you are. You don't want that energy around you. You want to continue to look up and be beautifully looking up to that beautiful divine source, that beautiful love that God has to offer us. Ah, all right. <laughs> Second card. <laughs> Gather, yeah, release your burdens. It's literally spitting out right in front of me. Release any burdens at this present moment, okay? They may trap you in your mind because that would go straight under this card. And maybe that's what you're fighting off at the present moment because that's how it's sit, yeah? You can see that she's trapped in her mind, eh? Release them burdens. Anything that's there that um, does that's not negative, but positively enhancing your life in order to stay in this beautiful attitude uh, needs to go, yeah? Pos uh, release any fears, sorry. That's release any fears at the present moment. So it's funny. we got release... Release fears, and I keep saying, keep your smile, yeah? Don't allow anybody to tell you you're not good enough. Release your burdens, and then underneath we got release fears. Release any emotions. The thing is, the moon highlights things we can't see. Yeah? I'd rather see them. And no, uh, you're stepping off in the right direction. You're stepping off in the right direction. Just got to release some burdens at the present moment, yeah? Next card, yeah, the lovers. Whether it's your connection to the divine that you love, which I do, trust me on that one, oh, I love it. Um, or whether it's just love coming in or what you do or the life that you have, yeah, you've worked hard on it because the next skill is somebody who's worked very, very hard and there's double emphasis on that with pride next to it with the two eights there. This is the lovers, this is Gemini energy. This is your energy, baby. 
Yeah, King of Cups. Water signs. Beautiful. This is your energy. And it's right in the middle of my deck. Right in the middle of the whole reading. Because as we go through for the next lot, which I'll be swooping the decks in a second, it's like, either you love what you do, because that's what I got, and it's tra something's trapping you in mo on your mind to stop you from doing it. Or, or whether you're battling things, okay, at the present moment, because that double emphasis on the seven as we split the deck, split the cards, puts double emphasis on out of multiple decks to protect your energy at the present moment, and that's what spirit is trying to do, so you can have that happiness and positivity in, in your life. All right, this sits like this right in front of me. Strength on strength on strength. Spirit's trying to tell you, because it's surrounded. Your skill set is surrounded by strength. You are so strong. Oh, I can't do it properly. You are so strong, it's not funny, Yeah. It's surrounded. Your love is strong. You are a beautiful, beautiful person because you can see how beautiful that person is with their beautiful, beautiful faith. And this is the social butterfly. That's why you need to protect your energy. You're a beautiful, sociable person. And we don't need people coming along and stealing that from you and taking your energy. Yeah? Beautiful, beautiful, soulful. That's a ten of cups there, by the way. Yeah, and she's come back out again. That's passionate. Somebody very passionate about what they do. You love what you do. They are stepping off in the right direction. Yeah, good news coming in though. Beautiful trickster energy. I need you because we've got seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven is 21. Two plus one is three, which gives us creativity, communication, self-expression, and joy. So you need you to protect your joy. You need to protect any creati creative uh, ideas, any communications you've got, any type of self-expression you've got. You need to keep your energy completely clear of any type of trickster energy because there is some sort of good news coming for you. will work very, very hard and you need to stay in that energy, yeah? It might be love. It might be an abundant new love or something that you love in general, okay? Because it did get the lovers with your love of the divine faith. But, but you know, when you're... Uh, celibate like myself for a very, very long time and you are waiting for the right person to come along, that's what can happen is you end up, man, I love, I love, I love source, man. I love spiritual energy. I love it. I love this stuff like there's no more. Uh, okay, basically, that's the end for that reading. Uh, not that reading, we can jump to this one. King of, king of, king of love has come back out. It's like the, you like the king of love where you know how to love because the king of love knows how to love. He's a warm, beautiful, emotionally, intuitively intelligent soul who knows how to love. You may have, may have went through a lot of healing in order to get that. See, it's come back out again. It's like your connection to the divine, yeah? And balance is needed in that connection to keep that zen happiness and and have that, that beautiful healing, yeah? That beautiful sexual healing? Oh, there's a better way to say it. Don't, uh, don't let anybody steal your energy. There's good news coming. Beat to your own drum. Uh, seven of one, seven of ones, which is protect your energy. I keep saying it. I, I, I just need to cut the go into that. Seven of Swords, man. Trickster energy. We've, we've left this. He's putting double emphasis on protect your... The Spirit is putting double emphasis. It's the same card. So as it sits in front of me, yes, we put it under the Seven. So it's surrounded by protecting your energy and releasing any burdens at the moment to step you off in the right direction. And if it was a long reading all that way long, this would be right next to it, okay? But I've got to put it here so it gives me more emphasis. But it's come out again. Protect yourself from any trickster. Know that you're strong enough. I know that you're strong enough because that trickster energy, uh, it's like the divine is watching over you, keeping you safe. Because we have the lovers and the, the divine love there. Um, but yeah, any type of trickster energy, just click, keep your energy clear and know who you are. Release any burdens at the present moment and heal from anything you've got to heal in your heart. Um, the divine's watching over you, keeping you safe. That's extreme in this because you're right in the middle of that. If the reading is the lovers, which is Gemini energy, and above that is the Hierophant, which shows your connection to the divine. We're, I've got to speed it up a little bit, but otherwise we're going to go a lot longer. Queen of Voices, extremely logical. Extremely logical, extremely wise. This is a person who is able to... Okay, if this was a fighter, this one can fight with their mind, okay? Because they're, she's the queen, which is more the creative side of the, the masculine to the feminine mindset. So she's able... Instead of fighting, this one will sit you down and say, ah, 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 excuse me. We're going to chat about this first, or otherwise you can get out of my energy. Yeah? Protecting that energy and keeping it safe, because she's right not right next to that trickster energy. And deception. You know, watch, any, watch out for any deception. It's the present moment, Gemini. Yeah, you're the empress, man. You're the empress, eh? You've worked very, very hard. You've worked extremely hard to be, be the empress. And that the empress is somebody who would protect their energy. So protect it, because you can lose this by walking down the street and having a bad day and then the rest of the day until you wake up the next day if you're that type of person is, is wrong. You know, it's, 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 that's why the Spirit's trying to say protect your energy and know how far you've come in life. 
and that, that page energy there is like embracing your inner child that I'm keep pointing at there underneath the deck there. But it's like you've learnt enough in your life to know who you are and step off in the right direction and embrace. I'm just going through the cards and showing you the trajectory of the light. Uh, the light, I don't even know why I said that, the life. Um, but you can see that you're sociable and beautiful and happy because, and love what you do. You love what you do, that's for sure. Because we come back out again, the king of love. You know how to love. It's like you're emotionally intelligent at the same time you're wise and logical to be able to make those decisions when they come in and, and embrace that strength within yourself. This is a card of, oh, this is a card of walking away, okay? Walking away, there's justice within walking away. Walk away from any type of trickster energy, any type of deception and protect your energy and walk away from it. You can see that spirit loves that for starters, but you can see that's what she would do. She'd walk away from any situations like that. That ain't saying if somebody's going to come throwing hands that you need to like sit there and cop it. Nah, stand up for yourself. But it means, like, extend the olive branch. Is that the best way to say it? You're beautiful. It's like, um, she's walk she walks away, but she's walking towards the black hole, which is the center, which is our center. Yeah, our center of our... Sagittarius was the reading I just did before, which is the Sagittarius... Sagittarius A is the black hole of our solar system. And she's walking towards a black hole. We are independent uh, universes within ourselves, okay? So the big bang happened for our life was when your mummy and daddy were dead there and, and you were born, yeah? That's our big bang in theory. It's three, three on the clock, so we just thought that's funny. But she's walking towards that. So you could be walking towards your inner child. You could be walking away from things. You could be embracing things. Or you could be trying to center your universe. And that's what I was coming up. Say, so as your ascension... You ascend to the universe. Somebody loved that, that's for sure. Beautiful. There's justice coming. There's justice within that. There's massive justice within that. We only got two cards to go. 17 minutes, I'm sorry. Keep going. Hermit, think. Yeah? Because she's pondering a thought while she thinks along journey there. She's thinking, 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 journey, walking away, walking on, moving to. It was a logical though. It was a logical way. And you've definitely, definitely got the strength within yourself to be able to do that with multiple strengths coming out. We've got two sevens um, protecting that energy. Two, uh, two sevens which show protect your energy around deception. And then two eights which say you have the strength to be able to do it. So that's why I use multiple decks to be able to do it. Very, very... There's, underneath that card, see? It's literally as it sits here, so see. Yeah, protect that energy. And above that was the Knight of Knight of Wands, which is passionate. You're very passionate about what we do. Let's do one more card till finish this reading of it. 1744. I hope you're having a lovely day, and I hope nothing but the best for you. There is there is massive good news coming for you. Just release any fears at this moment. Just remember. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful collaboration. It's like you're co-creating with the divine. But you can see that um, any type of um, fears, release them. Okay, because we've got releasing baggage up here. Is gathering up to release any fears, okay? You know, especially if you're stepping off in your new journey, yeah, or at least planning to. And if it's around love, then you're strong enough because we've got love and the strength next to it. But deception in that sort of instance is you telling yourself you're not good enough. So, release any fears in that. If you are remaining high vibe and you don't need anybody in your life because you are socially beautiful, remain and it remain and protect your energy and who you are and know that you are strong enough to do so and repel and release any fears or repel any deception uh type of energy because that's above it and know that you're strong enough okay see it sits in front of me that's how it would sit in front of me okay and then this is how it would sit in front of me if it was the opposite way which is this way see it's like you're strong enough in some sort of way to be able to release them fears and, and know that good news is coming Okay, because you work very, very hard on yourself. And that you beat to your own drum. Okay, we've got knights here and we've got healing because that's how strong you are. We've got more horrifying energy here. Okay, and then underneath here we've got beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards here. Nothing but beautiful cards. Co-creating and the queen of materials which shows you're a warm and abundant leader. And that whatever it is, it's fated. We can see that you've got the fate card and then the knight of, knight of pentacles which was there as well. As well. Absolutely beautiful reading. Gemini, I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day and um, protect your energy at the moment and just remember to smile and have a good day. Take care.